Hello, today I'm going to be reading uh, SEO Trot by Roald Dahl. Mr. Hoppy lived in a small flat high up in a tall concrete building. He lived alone. He had always been a lonely man, and now that he was retired from work, he was more lonely than ever. There were two loves in Mr. Hoppy's life. One was the flowers he grew on his balcony. They grew in pots and tubs and baskets. In, the, in summer, the little balcony became a riot of color. Mr. Hoppy's second love was a secret he kept entirely to himself. The balcony immediately below, Mr. Hoppy jutted out a good bit further from the building than his own, so Mr. Hoppy always had a fine view of what was going down on there. This balcony belonged to an attractive middle-aged lady called Mrs. Silver. Mrs. Silver was a widow who also lived alone, and although she didn't know it, it was she who was the object of Mr. Hoppy's secret love. He had loved her from his balcony for many years, but he was a very shy man, and he had never been able to bring himself to give her even the smallest hint of love. Of his love. Every morning, Mr. Hoppy and Mrs. Silver exchanged polite conversation, the one looking down from above, the other looking up, but that was as far as it ever went. The distance between their balconies might have been, might not have been more than a few yards, but to Mr. Hoppy, it seemed like a million miles. He longed to invite Mrs. Silver for a cup of tea and biscuit, but every time he was about to form the words on his lips, his courage filled him. As I said, he was a very, very shy man. Oh, if only he kept telling himself, if only he could do something tremendous, like saving her life or rescuing her from a gang of armed thugs. If only he could perform some great feat that would make him a hero in his eyes. If only. The trouble with Mrs. Silver was that she gave all her love to somebody else, and that was somebody else was a small tortoise called Alfie. Every day when Mr. Hobby looked over his balcony and saw Mrs. Silver whispering endearments to Alfie and stroking his shell, he felt absurdly jealous. He wouldn't even have minded becoming a tortoise himself if it meant Mrs. Silver stroking his shell each morning and whispering endearments to him. Now you can find this book at your local library. This is S.O. Trout by Roald Dahl. Thank you.